Hello and welcome to everyone to take a look at the brand new LEGO Creator giveaway set number 40602. Now this is a giveaway purchase which means you cannot buy this in store. You have to get this with a certain price point that you break and it is a beauty. It's that good I would have bought this if this was for sale. So what we're going to do as per normal is we're going to look at the box artwork in a little bit more detail than normal because I think there might be some easter eggs on this box with maybe future stalls that they could release. We'll take a little look at the instruction manual as well and see if there's anything that we can spot. We'll have a look at all of the festive Christmas jumpers that are included with the minifigures and then we'll take a look at the detail with the set itself. So like I said, we'll start with the box artwork and it is a Lego Creator range, which is quite surprising considering they now moved off from the Creator to Lego Icons. So I'm not 100% sure what that's to do with, but it is an 8 plus set and it's set number 40602. If you've come across this from the future and you want to give that a bit of a Google, so at least you know what the item number is and potentially it'll be on the Lego website as well. Now, what I was saying with the little details, we'll have a bit of a better look at the back, is you have got these things just here. Now, I'd be very, very interested to know if they will just make these slightly different every single time. But I think they do look really nice together. Now, I am actually tempted to order these pieces again and then just have the same fascia and just sell different toys on the inside of them. But I think it will look really, really smart with two of these side by side. It will make a really nice street display. Now, if you are, for whatever reason, coming into a secondhand shop and it is for sale, that is the outside of that box, box artwork. That is the bottom, so it's just yellow on yellow. But that is what you're hopefully going to be able to find at the top. And you can see it is a good size and it's got a good depth to the box and you have got the one for one minifigure and again just on this bit you've got the item number again on that side then you've got a picture of the set itself spare pieces we'll move on to the little bits and pieces that you got given so these are all the extras i'm sure i built it properly but you have got some other little bits and pieces in there so if there's anything that you can see that you'd like to do with that at least you know what is incoming so i'll try and get the shadow of that out of the way but you have got some nice red and green so you can add some more decorative pieces to this if you want to and then you have got some little bits of blue that you can add into the christmas tree if you want to make that a little bit more vibrant but again i think it is a beautiful looking thing and you do get a good selection of spare pieces with the to the build itself it has two bags super simple to put together but it does pack a punch so you can see bag number one you've basically got the bottom tier and you put both minifigures together bag number two it's to do with the roof which does look very effective and i'm sure people are able to mock this better than i can and you've got two little smaller builds as well there is no other detail at the front but at the back you can see is advertising finally some more lego creator three in one set so currently available at the time of this as the giveaway you have got this incredible roll Roller coaster set which is a three in one which is in a ridiculous sale at the moment you've got the parrot and then you've got this big sort of lego city motel this is a really really nice thing which i do believe is modular and you can actually build that three different ways with regards to the pieces they're all the things that you would need to reorder if you want to build this a to build this again so you can get yourself onto the bricks and pieces section of the lego website order all of these with a the SKU code and then you can just basically build another one of those if you want to or like i said try and hunt it down depending on the price but it is 64 pages until completion and and there is only 63 steps, but it does look very, very cute. So start with the last thing you build, which is this little Christmas tree. I think I'm going to give it a little bit more love. This is exactly how you're supposed to build it. For me, there is not enough on that, but don't forget you get all those spare pieces. So it's simple enough to put together. It's a nice scale, actually, because it's probably the same scale as the ones that you can buy. So if you wanted to mix and match it and set up your own winter wonderland with regards to the trees dotted all over the place, that would work very, very nicely. And that is actually what I already do in my own display. Now, the next thing you can see on the box just there, this is a cute little thing. You have the snowman, which again is a good scale size a minifigure that's around me which i do believe will be a bruce banner don't ask why but there you go that is what a standard minifigure looks like just beside that so it is in perfect basically perfect proportion if you wanted to put the carrot in the nose and you wanted to do something with the arm so you can get some nice photos with that now this is what it looks like all together doesn't that look very very effective but to keep it simple we'll get that out of the way we'll get that out of the way we'll stand this one in front and we'll have a look at her first so you can see really really nice christmas jumper it's a quite a nice blue actually and you've got all the nice pattern and print on the front got the mug if you wanted to have the coffee mug and then you've got more printing on the back so you can see what that looks like with regards to the sort of lower 
bit is light blue, you've got the white dots, dark blue, black, and then you've got more white, and the patterns and everything just change. So it does look very, very effective on the back of that jumper. No print on the sleeve. With regards to the actual print on the face, I think it's just, oh, there's the hairpiece gone. It's just the one. So you get a nice hairpiece with it, but you just get the one expression, and she does look nice and happy and chirpy, which is supposed to be the case when it is a Christmas set. Next one is the little one buying some bits and pieces, and of course, they're always low because they have a hundred I guess it's a hundred Lego brick a hundred brick piece I'm not 100% sure what they what the Lego currency will be but you can see you've got the nice waves on the back of this jumper and it's again it's the greens nice and vibrant it is a different shade green to what we are looking at so hopefully the lighting it's not the best in here I'm not going to explain the reason why I'm up here but that is the case for that and I think again this just has it does just the one piece on that so you can see that this one just has the smaller legs but it does have the little dimples and everything on the face and this one has the taller legs and it's obviously got the coffee mug just another quick look at both minifigures together with the actual hair pieces on and again you can see what it looks like and the ponytail doesn't cover too much of the jumper on the back and that one doesn't cover anything at all so again both look really really smart i'm just assuming obviously that that's just a random lost child buying some bits and pieces and that is the member of staff from the stall so you can go off create your own families and get yourself some more christmas jumpers and just create a really nice diorama so moving on to the main event itself, and like I said, I would have bought this, so I'm going to be biased, but I am quite surprised it is under the LEGO Creator range, which I thought they'd got to get rid of that, but again, never mind, it is what it is. So I don't know if this maybe should have come out last year and they held fire on it or whatnot. I'm sure so there'll be somebody with more knowledge than me. Now, moving on to all the detail, you can see what is all across the bottom you've got all these really nice vibrant green and red pieces that go all the way across the bottom then you have the nice till now there is a train that blue thing is the train on the bottom right and the bottom left you have got a rocket and you've got a nutcracker as well which we'll pull out and take a look at then you've got the detail up at the top so you can see these are, these come together quite cleverly actually because these bits at the bottom you basically build first in bag number one and then the whole roof section connects and then you just line up these tiles with those bits so again very very effective piece now with regards to what else looks effective i get it at the right angle you can see what that looks like with the white of the snow effect and you can get some nice photos on the side now i did not realize that these pieces actually opened up so you've got a double flap action on the side where you can hide and use it almost as a, a storeroom i guess so if you wanted to put some ladders up at the back you can do because you've got the same thing on the other side just there so you can open those up and do whatever it is that you want to do with those and then as you come through you can see the there are some presents in storage at the top so again if you wanted to get yourself a ladder you can then just bring them down to the next tier or you can just imagine that is a larger tier but i would just for myself i would use it as a sort of parcel storage and then you just bring it down to the main shop now that is a better look at the main shop itself if i was to very cleverly try and put it in with the one hand like so she takes up a good chunk of space but obviously if she's serving from the front this one would be stood just here and then you would be good to go so easy enough and she would be brought right forward but you could again fill it up with a couple more more mini figures because you have got another three studs behind so you would have all of that space free so you could easily get maybe three or four mini figures in there just looking at the different bits and pieces that is a better look at the train that is a better look at the rocket. That's a better look at the nutcracker. And again, they just pop off. So that's nice and simple. So all of them pop off. You can mix and match those up. If you have obviously got the advent calendar, you can just mix and match these up with the different bits and pieces. I don't think the rocket will fit up at the top. So you can't put the rocket up there and swap it over with a present. But the train might because you do have enough studs for the train to go at the top if you want to. So you can customise this how you like. So just for scale, I'm going to do what I can. I'm in the process of making this set just here, which is beautiful, which is the last year's modular. And the new modular has just arrived today with this giveaway. So if you can see what that looks like for scale and you have last year's one, at least you know what that would look like. And then you have this thing just here, which if you have this set, you know how big it is. And I think that scale is absolutely spot on with this so you can see what this would look like if you were to put some tram down it's not quite finished i've not yet added all the stickers i've literally just ran off and got this so that i wasn't too far away from building it so you can see i'm in the process of just putting the last couple of studs together on that thing but at least if you look at it from the front i think that works really really well now the next thing you're gonna have to take is a pinch of salt because these are the only things i've got which are winter village related all the other stuff is in a box somewhere else so 
This is a giveaway taxi. Now this taxi is there or thereabouts the same scale as the Winter Village vehicle. So if you do have any of the older ones like the cottages or you have got the forestry ones where you can go and grab all your own trees. I think the cars work really well with that. And again, you're gonna get some nice photos with that. And if the rumors are true of the last giveaway purchase of the Christmas, which is gonna be the horse and cart, I think the new horse and cart set is gonna look absolutely fantastic out the front side of this. Last thing is size comparison. Like I said, I don't have any of the Winter Village sets beside me, but I do have this thing just here, which is the Flintstone set. So obviously this is slightly smaller than a Winter Village set, but obviously the Winter Village sets are nowhere near the modulars. But both of these side by side, I think scale really, really nicely. So if you do have this set in your collection or you've got the Winnie the Pooh or anything like that, at least it gives you a good understanding of just how tall this thing is. Because don't forget, it is a free giveaway purchase with a half decent price point as well to be honest so if you just wanted to get yourself one of the winter village sets and maybe a large christmas tree you've broken the price point and you get given this for free as well and again if you have the main street sign it is pretty much exactly the same height as the main street sign as well so hopefully that's given you a better understanding of the scale of this set but I think that is it. I am done. Let us know you're going to try and pick yourself one of these up. And if you are going to add this into your own Winter Village display, I do think it does look very, very effective. So you need to know what you're looking for box-wise. Hopefully you understand what the scale of it's like. But if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and I'll take you to the next one. Ta-da.